Hello there guys and welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. Today we are talking about this amazing Neville Goddard concept that literally is going to teach you how to tr have trust and faith and it's called the Bridge of Incidences. And before we go into that, please may I ask you to like, share and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Uh, it really helps to get the channel be seen. Also, I forget to say it, but tap that notification bell. Lastly as well, I have a free Facebook group, The Healing Circle, where I teach people to heal, create and manifest. And also, you're gonna love this, but I have a health and abundance challenge, two challenges going on in January, and I want to leave those linked in the comments. So if you wanna join and change your life in those areas, I'm throwing a 30-day challenge for both of them, and you're gonna love it. Um, so let's go into it. So Neville Goddard talks about this thing, the bridge of incidences, because this is the point. Right. When we're talking about the law of assumption, when I want to assume something, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into the state of being. Now, you know, if you know my channel, you know that state of being is acceptance of the fact of the thing that I want is done. The acceptance of it being done means that I find a contentment and a peacefulness. So I'm not, I'm not living there like, like so up high. Gratitude, you know, gratitude is, is a... A natural feeling it can be a gentle feeling that leads to contentment and peace too but what I want to say is this is when you have assumed that knowing that the wish is fulfilled then it's that thing of like well then what you know I've, I, I believe it but I don't see it this is the thing where people get then sidetracked and they actually get out of the state of being of the beingness of having what they already have because they're not willing to let go they're not willing to let go and accept that there's gonna be now, because you have put out there what you, it is that you want. You have now put into action a divine law and order. That means you will be divinely guided in all of your ways to the outcome that you are looking for. That means that you do not have to have any care on what that is. And Neville Goddard actually brings it up in one of his lectures really well, where he says, you know, he was working with someone and they were assuming that they were going to get this uh, new position and a, 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 an increase in salary, actually. And what happened was they actually, he started to assume it for him, I believe. Now, there's going to be some out there that will know this even better than me. But what happened was that friend rings him up and he says, I've just, I've just been fired. I've lost my job. But in that state of being, never said, I, I did not sway from the idea of seeing him gainfully employed. You know, I did, it didn't matter what had happened because I know. But then this friend of his then rang him a few weeks later and what happened? He said, I have a new job and it's double my salary. So what I'm trying to say is sometimes we seemingly see something in front of us and it looks bad. So we go, this stuff doesn't work. I've been putting out there for new and improved abundance and I've just lost my job. Or I've been putting out there for love and I've just, uh, you know, I'm just not meeting anyone. Whatever it may be, you do not realise it is the hows are nothing to do with us. It's actually to remain in that deep level of trust no matter what happens. So this is, my, I have a solution that I believe works so well to be able to ride through that bridge of incidences with ease. You must start to become the observer of these things. So you notice what's happening, but you don't really have too much of an emotional tie toward it. So you're gonna notice that, you know, say that person who lost his job, you notice, you just notice this thing happening in front of you, but because you have, over the time, built up a certain level of faith and expectancy, you just notice the situation. You notice your emotion around that situation and you don't live from it. Because that would change the state of living in the assumption right so you are not going to live from that end you notice it and you start to realize that the divine is the creator of everything in my life my abundance my love my peace my harmony the divine does this yeah so what we then then what happens from this state of being then is we start to really notice we start to really sit behind the disturbance and we breathe and relax and then we get flung through that moment because we have no emotion towards it we get flung through it with a flow and an easiness you see the bridge of incidences is really about trusting in the flow of life 
So you can even use through those moments little affirmations that says, I fully trust in the process of life. Everything is working out for my highest good in this moment. That's why these are tools. These are lovely tools to create, to affirm, to observe, to relax. You can use these tools to keep you in the end result. You see, through that bridge of incidences, a number of things can happen that may not feel comfortable. They're not gonna feel effortless, like they're, they're like, effortless is the wrong word. They're not gonna, sometimes they're not gonna feel like it's something that, you, that should happen if you're in the right vibration or, or energy of the end, you know? But actually, who's to say that? This is one of my favorite quotes from the Bible that you can, that you can start to sit into. His ways are past finding out. God's ways, biblical. His ways are past finding out. So it's like, if I do want to, like Mark tells us, what I ask for in prayer and believe is already mine, it shall be. It's like, well then if that's the case, I've intended it, I've, I've embodied it. So now all I need to do is trust it and allow it. And so I'm going to flow through that bridge of incidences. I'm going to work with my emotions throughout that to not be deterred. See, you're not going to always stay just effortlessly in the assumed feeling. And the assumed feeling, trust me on this, you should assume peace and harmony with a little sprinkle of expectancy on top, you know. <laughs> That's the key. So you're not always going to be going through it with it with a feeling of absolute serenity some do but i'm just talk, i want to talk to the masses here who are struggling it don't worry if you come up against something that makes you feel against the end result just know that your job is to not emotionally embrace or live from that emotion the what it causes so all you have to do is detach observe I can go into greater detail in another video about that if you want me to, let me know. So then, now, all I have to do is keep stepping into life. This is the other step, though. People then think I can sit still and not lift a finger because that's what Neville Goddard said. Well, you don't lift a finger. What he means is he doesn't say sit still and don't leave the house, don't do anything in your life. He says keep moving through life. But you don't lift a finger in the sense of you don't forcibly go forward into that you don't make try and make the assumed thing happen you just surrender to life you flow through life and all the incidences the bridge of incidences that it takes you through yeah and it doesn't matter what they are because you have intended it and you know that your wonderful imagination or intention is the divine within you so just trust that I hope you found that video helpful. I'll see you at the next one, guys. And I really appreciate you all who are bringing me up on this journey too by viewing this video. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. And thank you.